Why go vegan for Valentine's Day? Well, a whole foods, low-fat vegan diet can reduce inflammation, reduce arterial congestion, and improve blood flow. But what does any of that have to do with romance? A lot of people don't realize that the first sign of heart disease is impotence. Uh, when blood flow is restricted to your heart, it's also restricted to your penis. And of course, the worse your arteries function, the worse your penis functions, and who the hell wants some weak-ass erections? And this is even being true for myself. When I first went vegan, I noticed a huge increase in the length and volume of my erections. Like, my dick was big before, but now it's like, BOOM! Going vegan can literally add inches to your dick, and if you want to give your woman, or man if that's your sort of thing, the biggest, hardest, veiniest direction to pound her with, then you should definitely go vegan. And not to mention that vegans come taste better, so your girl's more likely to swallow, and uh, I asked an expert on this one. Vegan men's cum is the most nutritionally dense cum on the planet, in the world, the most nutritious cum, and also the tastiest. Far, far, far superior to meat-eating cum. Unfortunately, I don't have any woman to give my big, hard, veiny erections to this Valentine's Day, so... Guess I'm just gonna chill out here, you know? Uh, you'd come over if you want. Could, could you please come over? I'm really lonely. I, I mean, uh, we could, could share this baguette. I mean, if you don't come over, I'll have to eat this all on my own. What a relief! When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. 